We start at the presidential office of Cheng Wadae, where President Bakane is calling for full-scale diplomatic efforts towards stronger and more comprehensive UN sanctions on North Korea. Song ji Sun has our top story. President Park Geun-hye maintained her firm stance against North Korea's fourth nuclear test conducted two weeks ago. At the third cabinet meeting of the year, the president directed government ministers to work closely with the South allies to come up with sanctions that will actually change the North. 만약 이번에도 강력하고 실효, 실효적인 조치들이 도출되지 못한다면 5차, 6차 핵실험을 해도 국제사회가 자신을 어쩔지 어쩌지 못할 것이다 하는 잘못된 신호를 북한에 주게 될 것입니다. 이번에야말로 자신들의 잘못된 행동이 어떤 결과를 가져오는지를 북한이 확실하게 깨달을 수 있게 해야 할 것입니다. She also called for full military readiness against any North Korean provocation, both on the border and online, to guard against cyber attacks. Shifting to domestic politics, the president reiterated her call on the parliament to pass a slate of long-pending economy-related bills. She said this should be the year people feel the effects of the reforms outlined in her three-year economic innovation plan, and for that to happen, the related bills must be implemented as soon as possible. On Monday, the president had joined a public petition drive urging lawmakers to pass economy-related bills, and on Tuesday, she called on them to at least move forward with the labor reform package during next month's extraordinary session. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.